everyone. Uh, I'm Greg. I'm a PhD student in uh, Globus Labs, and I'm going to present you what I just presented last week at eScience, a recent paper titled TAPS, Performance Evaluation Suite uh, for Task-Based Execution Frameworks. I think this tool will be uh, very relevant to a lot of people in this room. So I'm going to start with some motivation, namely that modern science applications are task-centric. What I mean by that is we build our applications to automate some computation process, to achieve a scientific goal. And we do that by designing these applications as kind of compositions of discrete tasks. And then we kind of build and execute them using some task executor like Parcel or Globus Compute. Um, and so we have a very diverse ecosystem of different task execution frameworks and they each have their different strengths and weaknesses. Um, and there's a lot of open challenges that like collectively people in this room are really interested in working on. Um, so then it comes to, you know, you're working on some challenge in task execution and it comes time to write a paper and you're like, okay, how do I benchmark my contributions, my new task execution system, changes to parcel, et cetera. Um, and we can kind of look at all these different execution frameworks that have been created and they come in a lot of different shapes and forms. And it becomes increasingly hard to compare your work against this ecosystem of execution frameworks. If you make a change to Parcel, you might want to compare it against Parcel, Dask, Ray, Lobos Compute, and so on. It's getting pretty hard to do this. And so in this work, what we're interested in is kind of how do we benchmark and compare all these different Python execution frameworks? If you're wondering why I crossed some of these out here, please ask me about it at the end. Um, but what's the status quo in kind of comparing task execution frameworks? Well, it's mostly ad hoc benchmarks. You know, we take a framework specific example or demo, we write a custom one-off evaluation script for a publication, or we make a fork of a real science application. And this has a lot of problems. Code ends up very framework specific. Ad hoc scripts are subject to code routes. Porting applications between different frameworks that have different syntaxes and structures can be very difficult and onerous. Uh, and you might incorporate subtle errors when you port an application from one framework to another that makes your comparisons kind of inaccurate, even if it was unintended. And there has been some good work on kind of how we compare different uh, kind of specifically workflow systems, uh, but this has mostly been focused on simulations and synthetic workloads. So what we're interested in in TAPS is providing a standardized framework for evaluating task execution frameworks with real scientific workloads. And so the goals uh, for TAPS are kind of threefold. One, to provide a set of reference and a standardized applications that can be the benchmarking workloads that everyone can use. Uh, and then allow people to benchmark their task executors or data management systems like Parcel and Globus Compute. Uh, and then to provide a robust and reproducible configuration system so people working on different papers can compare their work against each other. So we've designed uh, TAPS into kind of three layers. At the top, we have our application layer, and these are our benchmarking workloads. We provide a set of applications to use as workloads, or you can add your own. And in the middle, we have this framework layer, which provides this engine interface. And this is really going to be the glue between the applications, those benchmarking workloads, and the system plugins that we're actually going to be benchmarking. And at the bottom, we have the plugin layer, and these are the things you actually want to benchmark. So you might want to benchmark Dask or Globus Compute or Parcel as a task execution plugin, or you might want to benchmark proxy store as a data management plugin. So uh, to get to applications, kind of the most important part about TAPS, we provide these reference applications. We provide right now six real applications. Uh, you've already heard both of the Matthews mentioned some of these in their presentations. Uh, Celeste factorization, protein docking, federated learning, map reduce, molecular design and montage, and also two synthetic applications, a synthetic workload generator, and this uh, kind of meta application that allows you to inject failures into another application. So you can test things like failure recovery uh, of different execution frameworks. Uh, we chose this initial set of applications to cover kind of diverse patterns, diverse domains, so you can do really comprehensive evaluation. Uh, and there's guides for all of these on the documentation, and you can also add your own. There's a guide for that too, uh, if you wanna add your own uh, application. So then to the engine plugins, these are the things you can actually compare in TAPS. Uh, the two most important plugin types are one for task execution. So these are the things that are gonna asynchronously execute your functions. Uh, and we kind of stick here to Python's executor interface for, things, for these. So out of the box, we support Python's thread pool and process pool executor, Dask, Globus Compute, Parcel, Ray, Taskfly, and a lot of good stuff there that we're all familiar with. Uh, and then we also support data management plugins. So you can kind of uh, change how the intermediate data between your tasks are managed within your workflow. If you don't want to say let, you know, parcel handle that. Uh, so here we support things like shared file systems and proxy store, uh, which you've heard mentioned through some presentations and also uh, presented last year at Parcel Fest. 
Uh, if you want to add new apps or plugins, there's a guide on how to do all of that, uh, which you can check out there. Um, how do you use TAPS? Super easy. Uh, there's two different ways, actually. One is you can use CLI or you can use the API. I'm just going to give an example of the CLI here. So this is an example of command to run a benchmark. Uh, in orange, I specified that we want to use the Chalosky application as kind of our workload for the benchmark. And then I've customized all the different plugins for engine. So I said, let's use Parcel uh, with 16 workers as our executor and also proxy store as our data management system. Uh, and then you run this and you get an output directory with a bunch of information, logs for analysis. So you can actually kind of analyze what happened in that benchmarking run, a config file for reproducibility, and depending on the application, maybe some specific application outputs. Uh, I want to highlight this configuration file. So every time you run an application, you get an exact record of the configuration for that benchmark. And so you can share these files around with other people, and they can just simply recreate your benchmark using that config file. You can also do some other cool things like compose multiple config files together uh, and more stuff that's explained on that guide there. OK, so I'm just going to give one example of some analysis that you can do with TAPS. Uh, here we look at all the different application make spans for the six real applications with six different task executors. Some kind of high level conclusions. There's no standout executor. Uh, and kind of the diverse characteristics of our reference applications really serves to highlight uh, strengths and weaknesses across all the different executor frameworks. Um, and there's kind of this graph, which I don't have time to go into, does raise a lot of more interesting questions which we pose in the, um, in the paper, which you can read about. Um, and maybe that will encourage some future work. Uh, so a brief call to action, read the paper, lots of good stuff in there, um, and more evaluation stuff if you're interested in how like Parcel and Globes Compute shape up against the others. Uh, and then do try out TAPS. I think this will be relevant to a lot of people in this room. You already heard some other people say that they are uh, using TAPS in their work. Uh, and if you want to collaborate, have an application, uh, new execution framework, whatever, uh, please do reach out. Uh, good links there. If you want to find my full slides that I presented last week, the uh, QR code in the bottom right. Uh, has a much prettier slide deck. Uh, thank you.